How do I delete files from OneDrive, but not my computer? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. The original question, how can I delete files from OneDrive's cloud storage without deleting them on my PC? It's actually pretty simple. There are a couple of ways that vary depending on exactly what it is you're doing with OneDrive. What's your intent? If you're leaving OneDrive completely, there's one solution. If you're planning on continuing to use OneDrive, there's a different one. Let's have a look. So over here on my Windows 10 home machine, I'm going to click on the OneDrive icon and just bring up the OneDrive folder on my machine. You can see I've got a few documents here. Uh, document, document one, document two. Let's assume for a moment that document is something that I want to keep, but I don't want to have it on OneDrive anymore. I don't want to have it on Microsoft's cloud servers. I just want it on my PC and only my PC. Well, the answer to that is actually pretty simple. I'm going to open up another Windows File Explorer window. I'm going to navigate to a different folder. In this case, I'm navigating to the documents folder that's under my username. So you can see that uh, this documents folder does not have this. And more importantly, OneDrive is nowhere in its path. This document folder exists completely outside of my OneDrive. So all I'm going to do is click, hold, drag, and drop. So what I've done is I have moved the file out of OneDrive and into a local folder. It has been removed from OneDrive with one exception. Now let's take a quick look at what that exception is. This time I'm right clicking on OneDrive and I'm going to click on View Online. This brings up the OneDrive folder in the web interface. You'll notice that document is not here. Document 1 and document 2 still are, but document is not. That's because we removed it from OneDrive. However, over here in the recycle bin, well, gosh, there it is. In fact, because I've been playing around with this a little bit, it's there a couple of times. So the catch here is that it's not really removed from OneDrive completely until you empty the recycle bin. As soon as I click on empty the recycle bin and confirm that I want that all to be gone, it's gone. Now the file has well and truly been removed from OneDrive. Now the other technique, I just did a drag and drop here. Of course, you can instead do, uh, in my case, I'll just show a copy, a paste to make a copy of the file in this other folder, and then I can go back and safely delete this file. It's the same as moving it from one folder to the other as long as the original disappears. Copy and paste might be useful if you're actually doing this across drives where a move will not automatically delete the original. But that's what I recommend for, I'll say, 99% of the scenarios where this question comes up. If you're using OneDrive and you wanna take a file off of OneDrive's cloud storage, then what you need to do is move it out of your OneDrive folder on your PC to another folder that is not within your OneDrive folder structure, and you'll have saved a copy for yourself. If it matters, you then empty the trash to make sure that there's no chance of recovering it online. Now, the other approach that I suggested is a little bit more extreme, and that's the approach where if you're no longer going to use OneDrive, if you've decided that OneDrive is not for you, the thing to do is to first go to your OneDrive settings. I've right-clicked on the OneDrive icon. I'm clicking on settings, and over here on account, I would click unlink this PC. All that does is it removes the association between the OneDrive folder on your PC and the OneDrive folder online and on any other PCs you happen to be using. Once you do this, you can then return to OneDrive online and delete all the files you want. Now, I'm not doing this myself because I want to continue using OneDrive. But if you have unlinked OneDrive from your PC, then you can happily delete files from OneDrive in the cloud 
and it will not impact your machine. It will not impact the files that are stored on your machine. Now, normally, and in fact, in the article on which this video is based, I start with a very important admonition. We're deleting files. We are about to do things that could potentially uh, remove information from your PC. If you're not careful, you could accidentally delete the file everywhere and lose the copy that you want to keep. You know what I'm going to say, right? Before you do any of this, back up. Just back up your machine, back up your OneDrive folder, back up your files, back up your machine. Make sure that if something goes wrong, if the file is accidentally deleted in more than one place, you've got a backup so that nothing can go wrong. Nothing that goes wrong will cause you to lose your data. Now, there is one thing that I do need to talk about specifically, and that I think is what people are looking for. What they want, what many people seem to want when they ask this question, is they want the file to remain in the OneDrive folder on their PC and not have it appear in OneDrive's cloud storage. That's not how it works. That's not something that you can accomplish. The whole point of the OneDrive folder on your PC is to be a reflection of what's in the OneDrive cloud storage. If it's in the folder on your PC, one way or another, it's in OneDrive in the cloud. The only way is to disassociate somehow that file from OneDrive. If you want to keep using OneDrive, that means move the file out of your OneDrive folder. If you're no longer using OneDrive, that means disassociate OneDrive from the OneDrive folder on your PC. But there's really no way to keep the file in your OneDrive folder on your PC without it also being in the OneDrive cloud storage. I hope that was helpful. For the original article on which this video is based, for links, for related articles, for comments, for updates, visit askleo.com slash 126891. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.